Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Line of God's Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to go ahead and read you a chapter from the Bible. Today I will be continuing the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 44. The word that came to Jeremiah concerning all the Jews which dwell in the land of Egypt, which dwell at Migdol, and at Taphanes, and at Noph, and in the country of Pathros, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Ye have seen all the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem, and upon all the cities of Judah. And behold, this day they are a desolation, and no man dwelleth therein because of their wickedness which they have committed to provoke me to anger, in that they went to burn incense, and to serve other gods whom they knew not, neither they, ye, nor your fathers. Howbeit I sent unto you all my servants the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, O oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. But they hearkened not, nor inclined their ear to turn from their wickedness, to burn no incense unto other gods. Wherefore my fury and mine anger was poured forth, and was kindled in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, and they are wasted and desolate as at this day. Therefore now thus saith the Lord, the God of hosts, the God of Israel, Wherefore commit ye this great evil against your souls, to cut off from you man and woman, child and suckling out of Judah, you, to leave you none to remain in that ye provoke me unto wrath with the works of your hands, burning incense unto other gods in the land of Egypt, whither ye be gone to dwell, that ye might cut yourselves off, and that ye might be a curse and a reproach among all the nations of the earth. Have ye forgotten the wickedness of your fathers, and the wickedness of the kings of Judah, and the wickedness of their wives, and your own wickedness, and the wickedness of your wives, which they have committed in the land of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. They are not humbled even unto this day, neither have they feared nor walked in my law nor in my statutes that I set before you and before your fathers. Therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, before, Behold, I will set my face against you for evil and to cut off all Judah. And I will take the remnant of Judah that have set their faces to go into the land of Egypt to sojourn there, and they shall all be consumed and fall in the land of Egypt. They shall even be consumed by the sword and by the famine. They shall die from the least even unto the greatest by the sword and by the famine. And they shall be an execration and an astonishment and a curse and a reproach. For I will punish them that dwell in the land of Egypt as I have punished Jerusalem by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence, so that none of the remnant of Judah which are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there shall escape or remain, that they should return into the land of Judah, to the which they have a desire to return to dwell there, for none shall return but such as shall escape. Then all the men which knew that their wives had burned incense unto other gods, and all the women that stood by, a great multitude, even all the people that dwell in the land of Egypt and Pathros, answered Jeremiah, saying, As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord, we will not hearken unto thee, but we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth, to burn incense unto the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto her, as we have done, we and our fathers, our kings and our princes, in the city of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem, for then we had plenty of victuals, and were well, and saw no evil. But since we left off to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto her, we have wanted all things, and have been consumed by the sword and by the famine. And when we burned incense to the Queen of Heaven, and poured out drink offerings unto her, did we make her cakes to worship her, and pour out drink offerings unto her without our men? Then Jeremiah said unto all the people, to the men and to the women, and to all the people which had given him the, that answer, saying, The incense that ye burned in the cities of Judah, 
and in the streets of Jerusalem, ye and your fathers, your kings and your princes, and the people of the land, did not the Lord remember them, and came it not into his mind, so that the Lord could no longer bear, because of the evil of your doings, and because of the abominations which ye have committed. Therefore is your land a desolation, and an astonishment, and a curse, without an inhabitant as at this day. Because ye have burned incense, and because ye have sinned against the Lord, and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord, nor walked in his law, nor in his statutes, nor in his testimonies, therefore this evil is happened unto you as at this day. Moreover, Jeremiah said unto all the people, and to all the women, Hear the word of the Lord, all Judah that are in the land of Egypt. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, Ye and your wives have both spoken with your mouths and fulfilled with your hand, saying, We will surely perform our vows that we have vowed to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her. Ye will surely accomplish your vows and surely perform your vows. Therefore, hear ye the word of the Lord, all Judah that dwell in the land of Egypt. Behold, I have sworn by my great name, saith the Lord, that my name shall no more be named in the mouth of any man of Judah and all the land of Egypt, saying, The Lord God liveth. Behold, I will watch over them for evil and not for good. And all the men of Judah that are in the land of Egypt shall be consumed by the sword and by the famine, until there be an end of them. Yet a small number that escape the sword shall return out of the land of Egypt into the land of Judah, and all the remnant of Judah that are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there shall know whose word shall stand, mine or theirs. And this shall be a sign unto you, saith the Lord, that I will punish you in this place, that ye may know that my word shall surely stand against you for evil. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will give Pharaoh Hophra, king of Egypt, into the hand of his enemies, and into the hand of them that seek his life, as I gave Zedekiah, king of Judah, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, his enemy that sought his life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This chapter, once more, talks about that rebellious nature of mankind where when God says by way of Jeremiah, do not go into evil, do not worship, you know, the exact wording here. Um, of course, the uh, yeah, burning incense unto other gods. Of course, the, the verse and the, the scripture in this chapter specifically reads, Burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and pour out drink offerings unto her. So I just thought that it was so powerful that the Lord once more, He says, Do not do this or you will be given a consequence. And knowingly, the people disobey. Of course, the small handful, a small number of them will return to the land of Judah. Actually, He says that as well. And of course, He says here that Pharaoh, uh, Pharaoh Hophra, king of Egypt, will be delivered into the hand of his enemies, just as Zedekiah was delivered into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. So very powerful stuff there concerning the Lord God Jehovah and how he talks about, you know, one of the central themes throughout the Bible is if you obey God, things go well. If you disobey God, things go poorly. That's it. And so I just thought that was very powerful because of the fact that mankind once more, the Jews in this chapter, knowingly disobey him. They want to go live in Egypt. They want to be under Pharaoh's rule. And what does the Lord God says? He says, I will deliver Pharaoh into the hand of his enemies, just like Zedekiah, your king previously, was delivered into the hand of his enemies. So unless they obey, they will continue to be delivered into the hand of their enemies. Only if they obey and serve God correctly will they you know, yeah, of course, a small number here do in this case, for example. So that's where I'll go ahead and uh, end the Bible reading there for today and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's daily day video. Since yesterday's daily day video, I worked my software developer job. I worked at my core. 
I uploaded and scheduled yesterday's daily diet video for 2.13.24 and I have created, uploaded and will schedule today's daily diet video for 2.14.24. And with no further achievements since yesterday's daily diet video, I want to go ahead and say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Like to be with you all. Take care and thanks again.